He knows what's coming for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, Speedy. <laughs> Alright, so this new Valencia is an enigmatic unit because I genuinely don't know what I actually want to run it for. I think of giving her all sorts of different sets to make it work because honestly, the way they built it is really odd and I'll explain why I think she's kind of an odd unit. But if you don't know, her passive is that for, uh, you know, the res crit resistance that she has, she gives 50% of it to herself as pierce and crit damage. That alone is a really good, pa it's a really good passive. So I tried using her full crit resistance set, and although it was good, I also saw that maybe using attack would be best. So I made also an attack crit resistance set. I'll, I'll, I'll have to tell you, I already tested this in PvP uh, quite extensively, and it's probably better, but only because they kind of shafted her with her stats, mainly crit chance. Her This is without any you know, extra, right? But this is her base crit chance with all costumes, 43%. And the reason why Sauriel was so good was because he had a base 66 crit chance, meaning that he will always crit when he AoEs. That's not the case with Valencia. A lot of hits with Valencia don't crit, even though she has triple crit chance, because maybe the enemy has like 80% crit resistance, 70% crit resistance, which is really high. So your crit chance ends up being like 50-60%, when again, with Sauriel, when you have like 100, 100 and... was it? 80, uh, 196? No, wait, I'm making the math. You get... Uh, yeah, 100, you, get, you get 190... Chill, crit resist, crit chance, something like that, around that. You end up critting like basically every hit, even if the, because no one in the game has base 100% crit resistance, like no one. Only if you give them crit resistance, like I'm doing Valencia right here, she has 151, right? Every single other unit in the game doesn't have like over 100 crit resistance, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there is. Um, Tarmio I think has like 80. Draw has like 80. Like these units have like 80, 80 max. So even only if you give them crit resistance. So yeah, Sario always crits because of that, but not the case with her. So let's try it out. Again, I only have attack rolls, I don't have any crit chance. I was thinking of giving her crit chance, but let's try it out. Using uh, Green Gale Thunder in the back, Ludo and Green Galfer. Green Gale Thunder in the back should help with, you know, more crit resistance. And of course, tanking those Ascanors as well with more defense. Uh, Ascanors, of course, they, the enemy are going to face the absolute most. So it's the one that you have to be worried about. Now let's see. An Assault Melee team, actually, okay. I do go first, that's good. The best thing to do here... ...is to, um... Let's... ...rank her up. And let's attack Drool. So he's gonna get two buffs on his melee units, but that's okay, unless he has a Void? No, okay. That's okay. Um, only two buffs is not the worst. And taking off that ability to use the uh, the taunt is very, very good. Now, how this will work? <laughs> I need to kill the Melascula. Only issue is, my Valenti is green, and Melascula is red. Mm, I need to get another rank up. Another rank up would have been best. Let's see. Let's see. He's going straight for using melee. Oh wow. Okay. He trying to taunt, he doesn't know. <sighs> hmm. Let me do this. This will disable double damage. <sighs> and I'll attack again for healing. Disables him from taunting. Disables him from uh, amplify and double damage. Hmm. That was a lot of damage, actually. That was a lot of damage. But I, I need to rank up, game. Rank up. He can now taunt, actually. I should have. Uh, I should, have, I should have predicted that Drew would have died, actually. That's, that's on me. He petrifies my, uh, my girl. I should have predicted that Drew would die. That is on me. 
I should attack twice with Godfrey just in case. Mm. Could I kill Meliodas? No. Godfrey isn't strong enough. Oh, my defense lowering is... Uh, this defense lowering is gonna destroy me, actually. Only chance I win is if he has, like, no melee cards. The last click card. Honestly, I just got very unlucky. I got zero rank ups this match. That's that that really sucks. Is I know for a fact one level three of Valencia would wipe out the whole team. Because level threes are infinitely superior to level twos. But I just got none. So he's gonna kill my Valencia for sure. Yeah. Of course he would have gone for the kill on Valencia. Give me an AoE for uh Ludo, please. Please give me an AU for Lu so I can kill the Meliodas. Yeah, he had no melee cards. Oh, now you give me a rank up. Um, I really have no choice but to rank up Ludo here. Let me do this. I know what... <laughs> anyway I do, I'm gonna waste a level 3. Because attacking with a level 3 is just useless, right? Anyway I do, I'll waste a level 3 with, with Ludo because the cards are gonna combine. Anyway, I did, I would have wasted the level 3. That's fine, I win. But again, I got very unlucky. Very, very unlucky with my cards. Let's throw something back. I only got a rank up after Valencia died. Again, you saw the level 2 did so much damage. Her single targets just so much damage too. Let me get a match that I don't get unlucky. But you, I, I will keep this, because I like to be real with my showcases, you know? not only keep all the matches I win, um, although a lot, of, a lot of videos, yes, I win every match just because that's the nature of the game. Like, sometimes you just win every match, sometimes when I'm not recording, I just get stomped or stuff like that, you know? Um, but yeah, like, some matches, you're just not gonna get those rank ups you want, and you're just gonna get super mega cucked by the game and lose because of that. It happens, you, know, you guys know that. You should know that. <laughs> that happens way too often, right? Uh, regardless, I won, but honestly, more because the Assault Melee team lacks DPS. You saw, I won mostly because he had no melee card, and his other two units don't have DPS, right? Other than Drew's ultimate, so. A Shin? Oh! Is it is it really speedy? Or is it his bot? It's speedy. Hello! Let's disable... Um... <laughs> Let's disable Shin from debuffing and doing triple damage. <laughs> it's Speedy! I'm so sorry for Speedy, my team is so much better. He's trying out Shin- oh, Shin took so much damage. Shin can't debuff and can't do triple damage. Oh, I got a rank up. I'm so sorry, Speedy. I am so sorry, you're gonna be have to be my test subject here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, he, he he has no no way back. He knows he knows what's coming for him. He knows what's coming for him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's kill the Ludosio. He knows what's coming for him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Speedy. <laughs> it's it's not his fault that he lost. He's not using like a meta team. He's using like a fun YouTube team, you know? I, I feel this so much when I'm just using fun teams in my face, only people using meta. Let's see if his Ascari takes it back. <laughs> um let's disable the level 3 from working, unless it's a level 3 like the one he just did. This is able to level 3 from working for 2 turns. Ah, he's gonna cleanse next turn, actually, but that's, that's fine. Disable the extra damage from the more HP he has. Or maybe kill him? Ah, so close. <laughs> well, it, it do be YouTube recording hours, I guess. Come on, Askener. Let's see what you got. 
This is so sad, boys. He didn't do extra damage from... I mean, he had no HP to do extra damage, but... He did no extra damage, and he couldn't crit because my Valencia has 150 crit resistance, plus Gil Thunder. That's very sad, Speedy. Can, can we get a rip Speedy in the chat? Or what do we got next? Another assault... Ah! Uh, assault Melee Galore! We're facing a lot of Assault Melees. I mean, that's only true, but... Honestly, it's a good... Uh, it's a bot. Yeah, it's a bot. Let's just double rank up. No, it's not. It's not. I'm just targeting really well, bro. The cards were laggy. Okay. Yeah, I was like 254k. He probably has some sort of food. I don't think you can get 254k like naturally. Like, I think you have to use like HP or attack food or something. Alright, this made sure that Droll uh, will die first, then Assault Melee. That's important. It's very important. And I don't think he can kill. Wait. Is he using Melaxilus Commandment? Yeah, he couldn't do that. He is. Okay. I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is what I'm going to do. I was like, yeah, what should I do? I think Melee should die. Yeah, oh yeah. And Maska should die, too. So they all die. <laughs> no, Joe Dro ends up living just because uh, when Maska dies, the, bu the buff just gets removed. I would have to hit him again. But, yeah. Um, unlucky. <laughs> He's using Maska's um, um, commandment, which is odd, but it doesn't matter. In his case, like, regardless if he was using Drolls or Maska's, he would just lost. I mean, if he, if he was using Droll. Oh, he can't petrify still, right? Oh, he could. Oh, because he died. Because he died, um, the uh, the debuff wasn't there anymore. Forgot. Well, it's done though. Um, <laughs> Assault Melee teams just don't stand a chance. Uh, 252 cases. I, I was replying just pretty on Twitter because I tagged them. Because <laughs> if you face a YouTuber, kids, you should always tag a tag them on Twitter. I'm kidding. Let's. Let's disable, um... Let's disable rank up, if possible. Can I break the the shield thingy with guff? I don't think so. If not, disabling uh, the end's in the worst. Nah, I couldn't. That's fine. I'll disable the end from taunting. Which isn't bad. Um, but actually, I would have preferred disabling gopher from ranking up. I got no rank up myself. Again, getting an extra rank up, it's just like, it, it's exactly like Sauriel. Like, if you get the extra rank up, you just basically win. Alright. Let's see what he does. If he knows that, you know, um, Valencia does, doesn't allow the end, he shouldn't use the end cards. Or the end taunt. Oh, he's going for go for his ultimate. Okay. Interesting. Ranks up asking there. Uh, yeah, there isn't why he went for Gopher's ultimate because I debuffed him, but okay. Can I just kill Escanor? Is that an option? Is that a viable option? Oh yeah, he definitely is. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so OP. <laughs> definitely is an option. Alright. I'm not... I'm impressed. 226 could be a bot. Let's see. No, it's, it, it seems laggy. No, it's pretty responsive. It's probably a bot. Let's just do the first turn here. And um, if you get a level 3, nice. And then we need to do damage. But it's most definitely a bot. I like to acknowledge that it's a bot. Because, so you know, right? The, this patch is being easy because it's a bot. Because I feel like my showcases should be unbiased if a unit is good or not. That's why I like to cut most bots. Unless I'm like when I'm when I just go into the match and I'm like, oh this is a, this is very low CC, I'm not even gonna continue recording. If not, if I just want to see damage, because even if it's a bot with 226k CC, um they still have you know gear and stuff so you can still see the damage that you, you would do regardless. Let's just let's see what I can do with this. I think I can kill Droll. Just with the AoE. 
No, go ahead, use the Ludo then, yeah, and then kill Meliodas. That was my idea. So, my idea for countering Melee, or Assault Melee teams, is I seal Drow from using the, uh, the Taunt, just like I did. And then, by sealing him, I have a chance of using Ludo's single target. So if I can kill Drow, and he becomes the, you know, revived, I can in instead kill Meliodas and, you know... That, that makes so Melanskilla's passive is useless. Because, yeah, Revive is cool, but if it's Drow, it doesn't really matter. Unless you're going for his ultimate. Like, th this is what I'm saying, like, Assault Melee needs new units for his team to work. Because the way it is, you just lack so much DPS. You only have Meliodas. If the enemy knows how to deal with it, oh, actually, they leave with, uh... That's fine. If the enemy knows how, how to deal with it, you're kinda screwed. Alright. And that is impressive. We're facing a lot of Assault Melee today. Uh, Alright. Seems like a real player. Take a long time to load. Pog. Let's do this. Again, the zip. Alright. Okay. Ooh, a Sauri team. By the way, my cheeks clapped. Sauri L, Sauri L, Sauri L. Alright. Um. <sighs> Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna break that. I wanna disable Gopher from ranking up. Disable him from ranking up. Sauriel would be best, honestly. Sauriel ranking up is my biggest enemy. <sighs> ah, I know I got the level 3, which is very nice, but would it be enough to kill? Is my question. Wait, does he not know? Oh, he does. He just attacked. I thought he did. He waked up. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Um, I'll be giving him Dan's ultimate, though. I still go for it. I'll still go for it. I'll still go for it. I'll still go for it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, maybe not the best idea, but I'm kind of scared that Saria will kill her next turn. Oh, he didn't kill Sario. I didn't give her the ultimate just because um, he only had one Gopher card in hand. So when I killed Gopher, he just went to having six cards, which is the maximum when you have only three units. Nice. That's a level three attack, I'm assuming. Oh, level three taunt, okay. I, I believe this is a real player, but that was an odd play. I can't kill the end. There is no way. Maybe. Maybe. Nah, there's no way. Do I kill Sario though? I do. Nice. Nice. That's 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 infinitely better than killing Ah, uh, is it better than killing the Ah no, the end and the ultimate, so <laughs> maybe not better than killing the end, but that's uh, better than killing no one, that's for sure. Ah <sighs> my issue now is that Ascador could kill Gopher as well. Oh, nice. That might kill him, though. Oh! I'm so lucky. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Okay. Oh, the same person, I'm assuming. Yep. Uh, this time, it will be very different. Probably. Let's break the shield. And disable Gopher from waking up again. I think Gopher ranking up is my biggest enemy. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> I just quit! <laughs> I was like, I'm having none of that. Oh my god, that was so... That hit so hard! <laughs> that single AO, that single target hits so hard. How much? I forgot how much is the multiplier for that. The multiplier is two hundred and forty, and it hit that hard. That that shows the uh, the extra pierce and crit damage really shows. Honestly, I'm much preferring this attack and the crit resistance set. 
When I tested it yesterday, I, I was instantly like, yeah, this is much better. Mm. This is where... <laughs> Using Ludo with attack, so I'm using Ludo with attack and defense, right? Because most of the people I face, I do end up out CCing. But that one moment when I face someone that out CCs me because I'm not using his HP defense, I'm like, ah, I messed up. Let's see how this would go though. He's going for the attack seal, of course. Um, level 3 attack seal. Let's get my ultimate with you and disable him from um, stunning or shielding. He can't stun my Valencia. He might try to kill her. If he has another rank up, he definitely can kill her. And even if I have another rank up, he probably can kill her. This is the one moment where using Ludo with, with HP defense would have been so much better. And I can't, yeah, I really regret not using. I would have won if I went first, but... Uh, that's unlucky. Uh, chances are I'm gonna face him again. Because that's just how JPPP works, there's not that many players, so you end up facing some people again again. Let me change it to HP defense just in case. Let's see if we face him again. No, it's a Sauriel. Or it's a Assault Melee? Sauriel, okay. Uh, that's unlucky. I, I kind of wanted to face him again. I actually really wanted to face him again. Because um, that would kind of like seal, right? The, if I went first, I would have won. He would have been surprised, right? Oh my god. That single target. He would have been surprised, right? Like, oh, what? He's all to see me now? Yeah, because uh, I got 3k CC just from getting Ludo HP defense. Again, sealing the Galfrey so that he can uh, rank up. That seal ability is just so strong. Mm. Okay. I think I kill everyone here. Mm. Actually, I prefer doing this. I feel like level 3 hits hard into level 2, I don't know. Even though logically that doesn't make any sense, because um, <clears throat> the level 3 has a 300 multiplier. And level 2 has 180, so technically, if you do 2 level 2s, right, that's uh, 100, that's uh, 300 and... Uh, <laughs> math? That's a 360, right? That's 360. So technically, you would do 60% more damage than 2 level 2s, but I don't know! I feel like it's not, it's not actually how the game works. Not with this card in specific. I feel like... Uh, no, yeah, I was gonna say correctly, Sauriel. I feel like Sauriel hits so much harder with the level 2 than he d does with level 1. And that, again, doesn't make any sense, because the level 1 is 120% multiplayer, but level 2 is 180. So, technically, doing 2 level 1s does way more damage than level 2, but again, I'm very convinced that level 2 does much more damage than 2 level 1s. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. She's really, really strong. I, I, I think she's really, really strong. I saw some people saying that they don't think she's that strong. Like, I think Sauriel could be much better, but I don't know, I quite like her. You let me, you let me know what you think.